Hey guys, in today's video I'm going to go from this to this. Before I move on, I've got a champagne pop from Becca to give away to someone that leaves a comment on this video within 24 hours, so make sure you're subscribed, turn on the notifications and leave a comment below, someone will win this. Now, the whole premise of this video is that yes, it is a no makeup makeup look, but I only want to use tones, colors, shades that are actually found on my body. So I want everything to be a perfect match. I just want to know what I would look like if all my own features were flawless. And no one is flawless. I'm very confident in myself without makeup, but I really wanted to see what I would look like if I really just enhance exactly what I have. So I'm definitely sticking with tones that are precisely my own. So I'm going to start by priming using this Smashbox Oil and Shine Control Primer because I'm naturally oily, so I just want to control that a little bit. And then we need a perfect match for my foundation. One of my favorites is the Dior Backstage Foundation because they have really good neutral tones and I'm a very neutral skin tone kind of gal. So this is 2N and I'm going to use a sponge to apply that. Perfect match, as you can see. I think this is the ColourPop sponge. It's just really, really good. I feel like I've never actually attempted this kind of makeup look where I'm not going for the no makeup and makeup look per se. I just want to only use colors that are actually found in my body. I'm thinking that this is going to be the most flattering look that I can ever do. So let's see. And I can apply more because this is a really good layering foundation. So I'm not just gonna do one layer, I'll do a couple so that I get good coverage. That is on, foundation is a perfect match. I love that foundation. Now I'm going to use a brow product, but at the moment I'm only gonna use brow gel because I only want to touch the hairs. I don't want to touch the skin right now. So I'm going to use 3.5 from Benefit. All I want to do is make my natural hair the best that it can be. And that might not be perfect, but... Ah! What was that noise? It's like a, a goat being attacked. And I'm just brushing the hairs up so that they look a little bit thicker. It was my friend's birthday the other day and I was looking at photos on Facebook from our old memories from 2009, my eyebrows were so thin, I don't know how they got brought back from the brink like that because I'll insert a picture here. Skinny legends. Look at that difference. And see how naturally the eyebrow hairs, they kind of are pushed down. So when I use the brow gel, they get pushed up and it gives me an eyebrow lift. Ta-da! And then I'll start on the other one. So eyebrows are done and that is not drawing them in. Obviously that's just coating the hairs. I'm going to put my lip balm on. This is just a fresh lip balm. Just cause I don't want my lips to be all crusty when I get to them later. It's the Mint Rush from Fresh. Now I'm going to use a perfect match concealer. This is NARS Soft Matte Concealer and I'm gonna use a point precision brush. So an eyeliner brush. See how good this is for me? And then, using the tip of the brush, I will very carefully apply it to the blemishes that I want to cover. I feel like my skin looks very nice, but it also looks very natural, right? For eyes, I'm not going to do an intense eye look, obviously. I'm just going to use lightly a shimmery color that I feel like is going to look similar to my skin tone. This one is Please Marry Me from the KKW Beauty Mrs. West eyeshadow palette. Gently rub that through my eye. So that's pretty much flesh toned for me, but with some glisten when I shut my eyes and move. Now, because I have brown hair, I'm going to use a brown eyeliner. This is the Giorgio Armani number 12 Smooth Silk Eye Pencil. And what I'm gonna do is apply this right in my lash line. In fact, I might come from underneath a little bit. And then use the smudger to make sure it's all softened through the lashes. 
Do you see the ever so slight difference between my left eye and my right eye? Now I'm going to curl my lashes. This is a Laura Mercier curler. I'm gonna work one eye at a time, so as soon as I've curled them, I put mascara on and then I'll curl and do the other eye. Can't believe I didn't used to curl my lashes. What the heck is wrong with me? <laughs> What'd you say? So pathetic. pathetic. Have you ever curled your eyelashes, Seba? Hell no. This is, oh, that's an eyeliner. We are not gonna use that. We're gonna use this one, Giorgio Armani Eccentrico Mascara. The trick is, is that I'm not gonna brush it all the way through the tip of the lashes. I'm just gonna leave it, you know, you can shake it through the base, but then let it be natural at the tip because naturally eyelashes taper, right? They're not thick at the ends. So if you wanna make them thick, that's fine, but I'm gonna leave them thick at the base only and then just let them taper out naturally at the ends. Then I'll use my finger to push them back and make sure they're setting with the curl. Other side. Yeah, but serious, your foundation doesn't match. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Shut the fuck. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Lol. Okay. Now I'm going to add a little contour to my eyelids with this awesome palette from Linda Holberg Cosmetics, the Infinity Glam palette. Um, I'm just gonna take this one called Flare. Literally. Dab ever so lightly, do not put too much on, but I just want to emphasize what I have ever so lightly. I do want to contour using one of my favorite natural contours. This is the Burberry Beauty Contour Number One. That's what it looks like. It's just really nice, natural. Because if you look at my nose in this camera, you can see that it, I've got this little indent on this side. And then it get I mean, it's just not quite even. It's minute. No one notices unless I tell you like I just did. But I'm just going to put a little bit on there to try sculpt up my nose. So because it dips in there, I'm not going to put any there. And then here at the bottom, I also like to make it a little bit straighter. Let's do my jaw here. Now this jaw of mine is more slanted up. This one is more angled out. So I go all the way with this one. But with this one, I just stop part way. Okay, this is a BH Cosmetics brush for concealer and I just wiped it off on my face halo. So it's nice and clean. And without blending out too much, soften out the contour. So just using really small motion, so I'm not blending it out into nothing, I'm still getting the contour effect that I want. So rather than like blending in big circles, I'll probably just go over the same area in little backwards and forwards motions. And then with the edges, you can blend out if you want. But that's the result. Then I'll take the sponge from before. And I'll go over the jawline because I don't want it to be too obvious. And then I have a natural contour here. You can see the shadow, right? It goes like down in that direction. Especially when I like move my mouth, it kind of connects to these muscles in my chin. So I would just look at yourself in the mirror and see which direction your contour goes and then enhance that. So when your brush doesn't have much on it, I start in the area that you wouldn't want it to be too intense and then you can work your way up toward where the most product is because that way you'll keep the intensity in that area. Okay, then again, I'll take my sponge that had my foundation on it and just go over it. That way you're gonna make sure you get a really seamless, hardly noticeable finish. And then for blush, I heard somewhere that you should check what color your nipples are. So I did that and I matched. <laughs> Am I about to get me myself demonetized just for talking about 
the shade of my nipples. This is, oh, my nipples are the shade of Coconut Dewy Blush by Ciate. So that's like the natural colors in your body, right? That's gonna be what is apparently most flattering for you. You can also pinch your cheeks and see what color it comes out as, but let me just do this on the back of my hand. So it looks quite dark, but when you blend it out, it's very sheer. So let's put this on my cheeks. Bugger, I got it on my pimple. I do not want to be highlighting my pimple right now. What I also like about this is that it's dewy and my skin is naturally dewy, so it brings back some of that natural texture that my, my skin has. Now I have not done under my eyes yet. I'm going to do one that is very similar to my coloring rather than brightening up under there. This is the hourglass one in beach. So dotting it in there where I've got like blue coloring there. I'll use that Chanel highlighter that I featured recently that I really loved. It's the sculpting highlight and it's just such a good shade for me. I'll go in with it on my finger. It should be pretty much undetectable unless the sun hits it or the light hits it. As you know, I also like to put some here and here. Already on to lips. I'm going to use the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Lip Cheat Lip Liner. This is a really good color for me and I sharpened it so I could be really precise. Bite Sugar Cane is a really nice lip crayon. I'll just really gently, again, really good color for my natural lip color. With whatever's there, I'm gonna pat a little bit right on the apples of my cheeks just to tie in the lip and the cheek. And then I feel like I need a little bit of bronzer just on my forehead where the, the sun would naturally hit. So I'll take my Gucci bronzer in number two. And then freckles, okay? This is the Lime Crime Freckle Pen. I have very light freckles, but they get covered easily because they're not super dark. So I'll just put in a couple. This one's in the color amber, so it's really natural. Ta-da! Once the freckles are on, you kind of have to pat them in a little bit so they're not too much. But I also made, I made sure to go over my natural sunspots and natural freckles so that they're in the actual spots that I have them. But that's it. That is the finished look. Uh, I'm really interested by the outcome, actually. I mean, I have done stuff like this before, but I haven't consciously used exact matches before. And um, I'm really pleased with how it came out. So let me know what you think in the comments. And I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.